You open ChatGPT in 2025, and you're hit with a bunch of model names. 03, 40, 4.5, 4.1 Mini. And you just think to yourself, okay, I'll just guess which one to use. Let's fix that. This is your quick crash course on ChatGPT models, what each one does best and what you should actually use. So first, let's start with GPT-40. This is the default model in ChatGPT as of now. And this is the one that I probably use the most. It is multimodal, so it can handle writing, formatting, summarizing, but then can also generate images, generate videos, listen to your voice and do other things like that. If you're quite a generalist, this one is quite helpful for doing multiple tasks in the same model. It's what I would recommend for 90% of your day-to-day -day productivity work. So this model is super reliable. This model actually allows you to create images and I've created a video on this to show you exactly how you do it and you can check it out just here. Second one is GPT 4.5. This is good for writing and exploring ideas. GPT 4.5 is the most polished of OpenAI's models. It writes with more nuance, emotion, and clarity than any of the other models it has. So if you're drafting something that needs to sound more human-like, like a product launch, a tough client email, or a viral LinkedIn post, this is your go-to. The catch, it's slower and more limited than 4.0, and usually you're limited to about 50 messages per week. So only use it when quality really matters. All right, time to go deeper. It's O3. ChatGPT's O3 model is the model you want for research, strategy, and complex planning. This one doesn't just write, it reasons. You can give it a business challenge, a data set, or a research topic, and it'll build a structured, multi-step response. It can analyze visuals, break down graphs, and even pull from the web if enabled. Perfect for competitive analysis, business forecasting, or even writing investor-style notes. The next ones are more on the technical side, and they are the O4 models. So this comprises of O4 Mini, and O4 Mini High. These are your math and code specialists. Use O4 Mini when you need fast answers. Quick math, debugging, code snippets, or data summaries. Use O4 Mini High when accuracy is more important than speed, like writing complex SQL, doing step-by-step -step problem solving, or explaining STEM concepts clearly. Mini is your calculator. Mini High is your tutor. Both models are great at technical prompts, especially anything numbers heavy. Finally, let's talk about the newest models, the 401 models. Specifically, this is GPT 4.1 and GPT 4.1 Mini. You guessed this, another mini model. These models have quietly outpaced 4.0 and 4.5 on a number of different benchmarks, especially when it comes to code and following instructions. GPT 4.1 is great for when you're building things, apps, automations, and workflows. It can handle huge context, up to a million tokens, and is much better at sticking to complex instructions without going off track. So if your prompt sounds like, analyze this report, extract insights, and make recommendations, this is your model. GPT 4.1 Mini gives you most of that power, but is way faster and way cheaper. It's smart, stable, and excellent for developers or power users who want performance without waiting around. These two are quietly becoming the go-to options for building agent-style tools and powering seriously productive systems. So, which model is best for you? Here's your cheat sheet. Use 4.0 for general productivity, for writing, and for the use of a multimodal system. Use 4.5 for polished writing or emotional nuance. Use O3 for strategy, planning, and deep analysis. Use O4 Mini and Mini High for technical tasks like math and code. And use 4.1 or 4.1 Mini for instruction heavy, coding, or long context work. Just make sure to pick the right one that suits your workflow. Save this video for the next time you're looking at that drop down. If this video is helpful, make sure to like below and subscribe for more AI tips and tricks. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.